everybody. I am all tarted up with somewhere to go. My friend Faye, Faith and I are going to go to um, this restaurant, kind of new, um, not too far from here, called the Elephant Lounge, and it's um, it's Indian food, which I love, and she is learning to love. Indian food was new to her when we first started doing our, you know, monthly lunches. So anyway, you can't really see what I'm wearing. It's a super cool rayon, loose and floaty top with some black leggings. It's really cute. And I actually, um, this is a bit of a, a preview because um, I am I bought a bunch of stuff from this company called HolyClothing.com. Holy as an H-O-L-Y, like religious. <laughs> and it, it's, there's nothing religious about it. I, I, I can't quite get, understand the name, but <clears throat> um, I love it. All this stuff comes from, oh, I don't know, Sri Lanka or someplace like that. It's all rayon, and it's wonderful, and they have every size imaginable, including mine, including sizes that are bigger than me, which I wasn't quite sure they made until now. So um, I, that's going to be an upcoming vlog. So anyway, um, I am now off to Elephant Lounge, and I will see you guys all soon. Bye. I'm sitting here um, in front of this Elephant Lounge place, and um, I'm about 15 minutes early. I had to bounce out of my mom's house because um, she was driving me crazy. Um, <coughs> I'm sure some of you guys have had to deal with the ill parent probably dying. Maybe you're taking care of their cancer, which is what I'm doing. And um, before all this happens, you think to yourself, you know, if I ever, sorry, if I ever have to take care of my sainted mother, I'm going to be so sweet to her. I'm, you know, I don't know how people can be angry with their elders. They can't help it you know, blah, fucking blah, well, <laughs> now I'm beginning to understand, I mean, my mother is playing this to the hilt, she could give Sarah Bernhardt a run for her money, um, who was a really famous act actress way, way back in the day on the stage, in case you guys didn't know, anyhow, um, yeah, so today it was big puppy dog eyes, and I'm so hungry, I'm dying of hunger. Okay, Mom, I'm, let me make you something else that you're not going to eat. So I made her something, and she sat there and didn't eat it, just like she always does. Then we did the coffee thing again. Do we have any coffee? Yeah, Mom, we have coffee. I haven't had coffee in weeks. Yeah, you have, Mom. I make you coffee every day, and it sits there. But let me make you some more coffee that we're just going to throw out. So yesterday, I got this great idea. I, got, I went to Walmart and I got one of those Coreg things, you know, the one cup coffee maker deals with the K-cups. I've resisted that because I just, I'm old school. I mean, I would use a, I would boil grounds in a pot if I thought I could get away with it. But I thought, you know, the Coreg thing might work because maybe I could show her like how to use the, the deal and she could make her own coffee and she could sort of, you know, regain some of her own daily living stuff. And um, no, that's, I don't think that's going to happen. She looked at that machine and it just didn't compute. It's, she had the cup in her hand and she was looking at the machine and the little lever and I showed her, you put this here, you put the lever down, goes automatically, no problem. Uh, she wasn't having any of it. So now I'm stuck with a drawer full of Sumatran blend and butter pecan coffee that I don't know if we're going to use. Anyhow, um, so I, I had to leave because I was I was getting nervous. Um, yeah. Uh, so anyway, so here I sit um, in the parking lot. I'm facing the big main street here and watching all the traffic go by and people on bikes and meth heads. Hey, meth heads hater. And um, thinking about going into this place that I have never been into. It's a restaurant I've never been to. And I, I know some of you guys can relate to this, but you know how when you go into a restaurant that you've never been into and you're like, I wonder if my big fat ass is going to fit into this seat. Is Are they going to put me in a booth or are they going to realize I'm just too fucking fat for a booth? I better stick this woman in a table. But of course, the t only table that's free is right in the middle. So you have to like squeeze between all these other people. You got your gut in one guy's face and your ass in some woman's lap and you're trying to get through between all these tiny tables. It really can be awful it really can be so um you know until we get past that anxiety i won't know if i'm going to be able to really sit and enjoy this lunch i'll enjoy being with my friend that's cool but you know it's we got to get past the does my big body fit into the you know into the booth and um actually i think my buddy's here 
yay, my friends here. I'm going to tell you more about um, how bad it is to be an apple as opposed to a pear because a pear-shaped girl, even if she weighs 300 pounds, she can generally fit into a booth. It's us apple shapes. I mean, at 220, we have a hard time fitting in the booth because all of our body is right there between the smallest section of where the booth is, between the backrest and the edge of the table. So, anyhow, um, I'll tell you about that later. Right now, I'm going to go in and see if I fit in anything in this place. Oh, the anxiety! Okay, I just finished lunch. Oh, this is really bad lighting, huh? I guess it's okay. All right, I just finished lunch. It was a great um, in Indian food buffet, wonderful food. Um, I didn't uh, vlog inside there because I was... Um, you know, I was with somebody who didn't doesn't like to be on camera like so many uh, people I know. But the, whatever, that's cool. Um, lovely lunch with a lovely friend, so that was great. Anyway, so I did. I fit inside the booth. It was really exciting. Um, I was going to talk about apple shapes. Okay, if you're an apple-shaped woman like I am, you it's very, very hard to find a spot that you're going to fit if you're, you know, my size. Some, I often wish I was pear-shaped. I often wish I had that kind of smaller upper body, rib cage and waist, and then that big ass, monstrous booty with those big old huge thighs. Sometimes I, I wish I were shaped that way. It's like kind of a lovely shape, really, very, you know, prototypically goddess. Anyhow, so yeah, I had a good time. Um, I'm relaxed. I can go home now and face the, you know, whatever I have to face. Um, and get this video edited and uploaded and um yeah so there we go talk to you guys later bye